Hey, what's up? It's Mike Hill Metal, and I'm finally able to resume my Kerbal Shuttle program series. Since 1.1 broke most of my save files and mods, I figured it was time to start over and begin an ISS replica build, starting with the Russian Zarya module. And that's what's going up right now. And I've been futzing around with camera tools lately, so I got a bunch more cinematic shots than I usually do. If I went overboard with it, uh, just let me know, and I'll not do that again. <laughs> and I love some of these shots. They are awesome. And the sound effects, too, that, it, that like, the... That stuff. Oh, man. I, I love it. <laughs> so get this thing up to orbit and set it up at 125 kilometers and circularize. And then I'm going to be sending up the first shuttle, which, as I usually do, I named it the Enterprise. I have a nice sonic boom right there. That was cool. Got the fairing separation. And Miko. And once we get up towards the apoapsis, we're going to circularize. I had way more Delta V than I needed in this thing. Kind of over-designed it a little bit. I just love these cinematic shots. They make this look so much more <laughs> like professional or whatever. They just look awesome. I fucking love it. I'm going to dump this and get it away once that's all set up in orbit and stable. Just wait until this comes back around retrograde and just burn straight towards uh, carbon. Hopefully just burn up in the atmosphere. And here is the Space Shuttle Enterprise. Let's get this launched. Start up the main engines, throttle up, and release. This was a lot more stable than most of the uh, shuttles that I usually build. I'm actually not, I can actually just let go of the controls, unlike the other ones where I have to constantly fiddle with it, with the, uh, the mod engines. I got SRB separation, which is the cleanest SRB set that I've ever had, except for the explosion right there, but that's fine. I don't recover those anyways. Some more cinematic shots. And we'll start to burn horizontally so we can raise our periapsis. Go up a little bit more. There we go. And Miko. Got external tank separation. Thrust away with the RCS. And once I bring it in close to the station, I'm going to zero out the velocities. And I'm going to separate from the payload, which is the Unity module. Some nice shots of that coming out of the cargo bay. And coming up to dock with it. The one problem I've been having is I cannot actually record the dockings because for some reason it messes everything up. I'll show you what I mean later, but trust me, it's the weirdest crap ever. Get these docked. 
There we go. We got the start of the KSS, the Kerbin Space Station. Get some nice shots of that. Get some screenshots and stuff. And right now I'm going to transfer the crew over and put them into the Unity module. There we go. Get some IVA views. These IVA views are awesome. These modules look great on the inside. <coughs> I just wish they had more <clears throat> portholes or windows or whatever. And once I'm ready, I can undock from the station and pull away. Get a nice shot of the shuttle pulling away with the RCS. And coming in for a landing after the retro burn. Close the cargo bay and get set up. Heading prograde so we don't come in from landing backwards. That would be terrible. <laughs> Bunch of reentry heating here. Get a view from inside the cockpit. And coming in for final approach. Drop the gear and flare. Hopefully, yeah. And we bounced. It's okay. It's okay. It didn't break apart, so that's good. Thank you, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement. Pop the chute so I don't fly off the runway. There we go. And hold down the brakes. And now we are going to get ready to launch the next Russian module. This contains the Zvezda module and it actually required a little bit more thrust to get it up to the station so I had to slap on those SRVs on the side. But what I did do is I shortened the second stage so I don't have too much excess fuel. I love these cinematic shots of the launches, they just look amazing. Come for SRB sub. Payload fairing jettison. And Miko. Beautiful shot of the moon right there. I love that. <laughs> I'm going to have another one at the end of the video that I just I can't get enough of. Here we go, we got the circularization burn. Get that circularized. And shut down. Now I'm going to bring it in close to the station and dock.
There you go. You got the docking sounds that I got back because they just finally updated that for 1.1, and it is awesome. Just going to move the station a little bit. There we go. Get it set up. Use RCS to thrust away. And once I'm clear of the station, I can flip around to retrograde and burn back to under 23 kilometers for the periapsis, which means the ship will re enter and disintegrate. And we get a nice look at the station at its current state. Got the two Russian modules and the Unity module on the front. And next time, we're going to be launching a few more station parts and one of the solar panels. So stay tuned. We're going beyond a tree. Got one. He's down. He's down.